so this morning has been much lazier than the rest of the mornings. So I went down, got us coffee, came back up, and then took the camera down to Waikiki and was shooting all set up to shoot time lapses and uh, realized I was completely out of memory cards. Luckily, the hotel is only a half a block up from Waikiki and I've come back and now I've got to transfer all the videos and pictures I've taken over the last couple days onto the computer, which is going to take forever. I should have transferred everything last night. It's taking forever. So I threw my 64 gig card into the computer and hopefully we can uh, get down to the beach and walk around and find a place to eat. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. I've been waiting for you all morning, geez. You're mm -hmm. not ready yet? I've been ready. I've been waiting for you. No? Yeah. Uh-huh. We're going to check out the breakfast at the Westin. Hello, good morning. How are you? Good Any morning. coffee or tea? Uh, no, I think I just got water. We'll do a cappuccino. Cappuccino? One cappuccino? Okay. Food was good. We gotta go back to the hotel room and pack. Boo. <laughs> Bum? Yeah. Always sucks leaving, huh? It does. But we still have an adventure to look forward to. Okay, we can fix everything. Alright, did a once over through the room and we're ready to go check. Oh, just the one bag? Yeah, just the one bag. Hey babe, what about right here? I know, I'm going. Oh, okay. Did it give us? Oh yeah, they're almost done. I'm gonna see if it's free. I thought maybe airline lounge, this symbol here. What? I'm trying to figure out where a bar is by these symbols. Let's just walk down. I don't mind walking. Cocktail. We never heard our boarding call for our flight. We almost missed our flight. We're like one of the last people to board. Oh my God. Well, at least we don't have to wait in a line to board. We made it on the flight, but barely. I can't believe that. <laughs> the flight departs at 2.40, but Megan thought that they boarded at 2.20 but because on the ticket it says 220, but what it says is final boarding is at 220. So we we're about that close from missing our flight. <laughs> and also my camera bag barely fit in the overhead compartment. So yeah, today we're those people. Sorry. She wants to drive right, thank you very much. after work. All right, we've landed. Uh, flight was totally uneventful. All we did was sit and play games and eat snacks and had a couple drinks. But uh, yeah, that's it. We're just gonna go collect our baggage. So I'm probably gonna be in big trouble because I just jumped on the tram to get over to the baggage claim and Megan didn't make it on. I mean, it was the same 
Are you pissed at me? <laughs> I thought, man, that's a full tram. You're really gonna try to get on? I'm not gonna have enough time to get on as everyone's getting <laughs> I don't even know where it's at. So Megan says to me, feel the luggage. You could feel the floor vibrating through the luggage. And she says, oh wait, is the razor on? Not this one. <laughs> is it the other one? So we don't know how long our suitcase was vibrating, but... <laughs> At least it's not like a prominent vibration where the guy that like picked up the luggage was like, whoa, what is that? But when a suitcase vibrates, and the door's gotta call the police. My suitcase was vibrating. Nine times out of ten, it's an electric razor, but every once in a while, it's a dildo. Of course, it's company policy never to imply ownership in the event of a dildo. We have to use the indefinite article, a dildo, never your dildo. But I don't own So much funny. Can't take you anywhere. Oh man. Alright. Now we just gotta go outside and wait for our ride. Ooh. That's what sucks about coming back from uh, Honolulu. <laughs> it's freezing ass cold here. So we're in Safeway right now, getting the essentials. Just a bunch of food but we need to find a hardware store and uh, get some white gas for our adventure. <laughs> All right, we got food, and now we just need to go to an outdoor store. Now we just need to go to an outdoor store. All right, got what we came for. So Megan and I decided that Hawaii was way too warm. So instead of landing and going home and finishing the vacation in Sacramento we had Jenna pick us up and just uh, basically we've been driving the last 12 hours to bring you here Jenna's never been here just before warned that the trail of this is very slick so we'll try to stay off the wet part and stay on like the dry snow What's your first impression of the Grand Canyon? It's amazing. I can't wait to get out there and hike it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm still processing how huge it is. I can't wait to actually go explore it. Got the yak tracks. So we just changed our shoes and tried these on. We got these, they're typically called crampons. These are called yak tracks. Probably just, just the brand. Slip on the bottom of your shoe and they give us extra traction for walking on ice because uh, we really really want to walk down into the canyon like we want to hike down into the canyon so these are going to be a big deal for us i think we're done kind of wandering exploring around the visitor center uh we're going to head back check into the hotel room and uh get something a little more substantial than popcorn and tomatoes and uh, we made dinner reservations at el tovar which is the main lodge here it's going to be a fun night Oh, they don't work on stone. No, I just slept. <laughs> wow, they really don't. <laughs> <laughs> like walking on ice. The hazard, yeah. <laughs> the 
Hi, you're just put on and then take off. Mm -hmm. And this is just for four, four nights, two adults, two queen beds. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay. So we just figured out that the uh, yak tracks do not work on stone. So <laughs> almost slipped and fell. Ironically, it's like walking in ice. <laughs> uh -uh. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. I thought it was gonna get done. Ow! <laughs> so not much of a view, but who cares? You got the Grand Canyon like a 10 minute drive away. Who needs a view? I'm making us some bathroom coffee. Making coffee in the bathroom. You want the first cup of coffee? Because it's ready. Ooh, that was almost disaster. <laughs> Dinner was really good, uh, but I would definitely say that the soups and the bread that we had when we first checked into the hotel were so much better than the dinner. The dinner was good. Coming back and having that hot soup on a cold day with bread, it, it just hit the spot so much better. But that's pretty much it. Uh, we're all exhausted and ready to go to bed, so we're gonna hit the hay and uh, Hit it again tomorrow. I'm really not sure what tomorrow holds, but we're gonna try to hit breakfast and go from there. Drop it. There's a lump in our luggage. <laughs> our luggage has a lump. <laughs> 